Hi everybody, this is Amy Kynes from Ready, Aim, Teach, and I'm excited today about our topic, talking about ADHD. There's a lot of misconception out there, so today I wanted to give you some characteristics and have you think about if you've had students in your classroom or in your schools, and if you've automatically characterized them as having ADHD. So students who have checked out in a classroom situation, students who are disruptive or have difficulty paying attention or focusing in class, students who are disruptive or perhaps even aggressive, students who need constant stimulation within a class, students who need constant stimulation or have difficulty switching gears in the middle of a lesson, or students who have a high need of predictability. Oftentimes when we have students who have these characteristics, we automatically think this is a student who has ADHD. And so we put that label on the child and we act accordingly. In fact, there could be lots of different mental health issues that the student faces. I'm excited because today we're sharing with you a free resource. It's called the Mental Health Matrix. And it includes the six most common mental health conditions that school-age children face. So I invite you really to dig into this because it gives you the characteristics of these six mental health conditions. But not only that, it gives you some tools and things that you can do to help address these six different conditions. And what you'll find as you investigate this is that oftentimes what we think might be ADHD or what we've automatically in the past labeled as ADHD isn't ADHD at all. It's something totally different. So I invite you to spend some time digging into this and share this with your colleagues. It's exciting to think that there's different ways that we can help students that have a variety of different characteristics. Our students come to us with lots of different needs and challenges, but also lots of different gifts. We offer a great course called the ADHD Brain, what works, what doesn't, and why. Because one of the exciting things to know is that if a student does in fact have ADHD, it means that their brain is different. It doesn't mean it's wrong or bad, it just means it's different. So as educators, it means that we get to do different kinds of things to help this brain so that they can flourish in our classrooms and in our school. So we invite you also to take a look at this workshop and consider registering for it. We have a course in March and then we're gonna have the same course at the end of June and into July as well. So I wanna thank Frank Cross and the Cross Learning Group for sharing this incredible resource with us. So again, I invite you to take a look at it and share it with as many people as you can because it's a terrific resource to help you as you support students in your class who have the variety of different needs because we are all about student learning and helping our students get better each and every day. So on behalf of all of us at Ready Aim Teach, thank you for what you do for students every day and we look forward to supporting you. So if we can help you, please reach out at www.readyaimteach.com. Thanks so much, everybody.